They call them heroes because of their heroic acts, but we call them selfless people because they put other people first. My name is Randy Sanders. Welcome to NABN TV's Hall of Selfless People. I'm your host. Extreme poverty is one of the modern world's greatest tragedies, especially in rural areas where illiteracy, hunger, and poor health care have regrettably become commonplace. Ernest Azudialu Obiejisi, an entrepreneur and philanthropist, stood up to challenge these obstacles and make a real and measurable change in eastern Nigeria and beyond. Deeply moved with compassion, Ernest Obiejisi, in his quest to give back to the community, to the poor, and to the needy, Ernest formed a not-for-profit organization called Obi Jackson Foundation, noted for lifting and mending broken lives and brings the marginalized back into the community and makes the world a better place. The foundation has been dedicated to improving the socioeconomic well-being of the nation's people through improved access to good quality education and healthcare in addition to cultural enrichment. The man we're talking about, all the functional network of roads in Arcadia today, he single-handedly worked for it, brought government intervention and brought the contracts, and the contract, contracts were fully executed, and we have a functional road network in Arcadia today. And as we're talking, every day, he employs thousands of youth, we sweep our roads, all roads of Arcadia are being swept, and nobody is charged a dime. Just as we all know, he loves Okija people so much. If you can go to Okija today, you will see many things done by the Obijasin. Through Obijasin Foundation, many people in Okija have enjoyed a lot. Chief Dr. Ernest Azudalo Obijas is a gift to all Okija. OB Jackson Foundation's intervention areas range from community development initiatives to food programs to health schemes, the gemstone of which is the OB Jackson Children's Hospital in Okija, Anambra State. A reporter who has been researching the foundation for the past six months has the story. In 2015, the OB Jackson Foundation built an ultra-modern women and children's hospital in Okija to provide first-rate medical services to the community and the people of Anambra State. The hospital that he has brought to us here is as if we're in London, we're in America. Chineke used this hospital as of Tamu, Oge Murumu Ejima. So I know that this man is not a good person. But Chineke is not a good person. It grows from strength to strength. The OB Jackson Women and Children's Hospital is built to reduce the spate of children and women mortality in the community and provide first-class health services to a category of people that would not ordinarily have access to quality health care because of their financial situation, location, and awareness level. OB Jackson Hospital, Okija. See what God used them to do for me. Ah, I for don't die. But God used them mightily. If you have never visited that hospital, let me wait. Let me show you first. They begin to uh, give me injection and everything. Makachileke, I am well now. No fever, no headache, nothing. Immediately I visited that hospital. Obi Jackson. Ah! In this Okija. And Anambra State in general, there is no hospital that is as good as this. And in my own kingdom, I'm so happy about it. I have not seen a kind gesture like this. I have not seen a philanthropist like this. Even in the church, I told him to keep it up because what he is doing in this community is fantastic. Education. Victor Hugo said, and I quote, He who opens a school door closes a prison door. To liberate his community from underdevelopment, Obi Jackson established a school to liberate the minds of individuals through education. Obi Jackson Foundation has been giving scholarships to children of the poor, sponsoring them from kindergarten to university level. Obi Jackson Foundation also motivates, mentors, 
and guides them towards making informed decisions about their studies and future career. Well, one of the things one of the things I want to leave behind is uh, the the school I was uh, building in my you know in a, in my in my state in Anambra State and in Okija the Jesuit College. Okay, a model of that school is downstairs in this building. That's one of the programs I started uh, about two three years ago. It's almost um, we've done the first phase and the school is coming on straight this year. I'm, I was building that school just to leave something you know behind for the young ones. And for the you know for the children a catchment area in that in that in that my environment so that people who have these children will have the opportunity of having qualitative education education that is of very high standard Jesuit college you know the Jesuits are known in Roman Catholics I mean there are about two of them in Nigeria the, the one in Abuja and the one in Port Harcourt I, I decided to build one in Okija it's quite a very big project and I'm building it just to donate it to the Jesuits so that they will be able to train, you know, people from that region, be able to train people from my area, so that they will have the opportunity of attending a very good school. And um, it's something I won't actualize in my lifetime. And I'm very happy that I'm almost there now. Like the, the you know, the common this hostel in school that I built for the students, you know, I named it Obi Jackson a hostel. With the present state of Nigeria, where people hardly meet their needs due to the economic degradation. The Obi Jackson Foundation has been a handful in helping to meet the needs of many indigents. In its plight to alleviate poverty, Obi Jackson Foundation has reached the underserved people and empowering many by starting up a business for them, especially poor widows who struggle to feed, have no means of livelihood, and are aged. It is also interesting to know that the foundation covers their health insurance. Obi Jackson Foundation also empowered the youth through sports. The foundation organizes competitions, utilizes sport as a platform for promoting the youth's talent and positioning them on the international stage. This offers talented young people the opportunity to provide financially for their families. My name is Professor Amadou Baba Sengri, Department of Criminal Justice and Sociology. Grandview University, Des Moines, Iowa, USA. I'm also a board member of NABN-TV. I'm also an executive uh, producer of Let's Talk About It. Uh, as I said, uh, one of our goal is to uh, make sure to see the peace and security uh, and progress in Nigeria. And what Dr. Anes is doing this actually is what is expected of a uh, statement and people that have uh, interest or uh, vested interest in seeing Nigeria move forward. Uh, his programs about the hospital education, I think he's sowing the seed for progress and bringing youth to, make, to see that uh, selfless uh, service to our nation can make our nation greater. And we thank him uh, on behalf of uh, NABN TV, we are the board of directors, the president, we really appreciate his effort. Thank you very much. Who is Dr. Ernest Obiejesi? Hi, my name is Ernest Azodialo Obiejesi, Group Managing Director, Nest Oil. Dr. Ernest Obiejesi is a Nigerian business magnate and philanthropist. He is the chairman and chief executive officer of Nest Oil and the founder of the Obi Jackson Foundation. Born in Okija, Anambra State in Nigeria, Ernest first joined his father's family business in 1978 before setting up his first company, Obi Jackson West Africa Limited, that traded goods across West Africa. Azudialu Obiejesi's flagship company, Nest Oil, is a Nigerian engineering, procurement, construction and commissioning company servicing the oil and gas industry. Dr. Ernest Obiejesi derives pleasure in giving and has drastically helped create employment opportunities for thousands of Nigerian youths and the old too. That this thing that was founded by one person, supported by all of us. One thing I know, which I've also experienced, is that hard work pays at the end of the day. Dr. Ernest Azudialu Obiejesi holds a bachelor's degree in accountancy and an MBA from the University of Benin, Nigeria. Jennifer Nwenwa 
NABN TV's Africa bureau chief, who led a team of reporters to his office in Lagos, Nigeria, asked how he sees himself. I can describe Ernest as Odealo Obiejesi, um, as a businessman who over the years has tried to do whatever he can to impact on the lives of um, our youths and um, the lives of people within my community and also within the lives of um, the young ones who we are trying to grow up in the companies that I run. So I see myself as um, as a work in progress because I still believe I have more, more to do even though um, the time is not on my side anymore but I still believe that with the time I had them um, I still have left, I can still do more before I will, um, I will retire. One of the board of directors of NABN TV, Dr. Terrence Baker, has this to say. Hi, my name is Dr. Terrence Baker. I'm the executive producer of Doctors in the House here at NABN TV. Today I have a special honor to recognize uh, Dr. Ernest Obi Jesse, uh, his wife, Nana, and his foundation and staff. Dr. Obi Jesse has distinguished himself. His unselfish dedication of time and money uh, has led to his recognition by the board of directors of NABN TV. And uh, today I have the distinct honor of uh, congratulating him for a job well done. Rarely do you see a man with his conviction, his dedication, his motivation, uh, his leadership. Uh, he is a leader among leaders, a man among men. Uh, he has selfishly reached out to cancel appointments with death, to provide care for people he loves, and has tirelessly committed his time and his financial resources to so many people alive today because of his foundation, his love, his dedication, and his motivation. It is my distinct pleasure as a member of the board of directors, as the executive producers of Doctors in the House at NAB and TV, to congratulate you for a well done job and to congratulate you and your wife his unselfish investment in the peoples of the world. May God bless you and be with you always. Ernest Obiegesi is a selfless man, a role model, a giver, a man full of compassion, a man who would go the extra mile to put a smile on the faces of those in need. Ernest, you and your beautiful wife, Nena Obiegesi, have added value to other people's lives by being of service and living selflessly. You are a nation builder. You have used your work, talent, and creativity to unite Nigerians in all areas of life. The good you put out into the world will return to you in an abundance. Thank you for all you have done to inspire others as you put smiles on their faces. Moses Adediji, NABN TV President. All glory and honor goes to Almighty God. In honoring Dr. Ernest Obiegesi and his wife, Nena Obiegesi, for a job well done, by the recommendation of the Advisory Board of NABN TV, the Board of Directors have agreed unanimously and approved Dr. Ernest Obiegesi to be inducted to NABN TV Hall of Selfless People. Dr. Ernest, congratulations.
We would like to thank Grace Ojo from Ibadan, Oyo State, who nominated Dr. Ernest Obiajizi's name for recognition on NABN TV's Hall of Selfless People. If you know someone or an organization who has or is making life meaningful for others, and you think he or she deserves to be honored, please email us at info at nabntv.com. Thank you, and may we all continue to recognize the work of extraordinary people in an ordinary world. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and we're also on Twitter. If you want to support any of our programs, please send us an email to info at nabntv.com or visit our website at www.nabntv.com. Special thanks to our executive producers, Dr. Leo Egbajobi and Joy Adidiji, and all of the people behind the scene. Thank you. Until next time, when we bring you another exciting story, my name is Randy Sanders. Thank you for watching. NABN TV. Inspiring a new generation.